back at home, the political divide when it comes to Democrats and how to proceed or whether to proceed with talk of impeachment. How worried is the president about that? And not at all. I was standing right next to him actually yesterday at the, at the Easter egg roll when a question was shouted out about impeachment. And he said he wasn't worried at all, not in the least, because there is nothing to worry about when you've done nothing wrong. Regardless, think about what all the Democrats are saying. Those who are vying to be at the top of the ticket, the presidential nominee of the Democrat Party, are now saying openly that they have to call for impeachment when there is no crime. The president hasn't done anything criminally wrong, and they're still trying to attack this president. They don't want to get to the truth. They want to get to the president. And he's done nothing wrong. And after two and a half years and all of the subpoenas and witnesses, we now know there is no collusion with a foreign power. We know there is no obstruction. He wasn't prosecuted for anything. There weren't more indictments, despite Democrats saying for two years that this president committed treason without proof or evidence. And now they're continuing to double down. But I understand why they are, because if they pulled back now, they would be admitting the last two years of their life was a complete and total uh, waste of time. There are two more topics we need to get to. You mentioned the president yesterday, the Easter egg roll. Just roll the clip here. Here is the answer that you just referred to there, Hogan. You worried about impeachment, Mr. President? That from yesterday, Don McGahn has been asked to testify. He'll be there, I think, on the 21st of May. How concerned are you about the president's former attorney? Uh, not at all. Uh, not at all. What I am concerned about, though, is that Democrats like Jerry Nadler continue to try and attack this president and attack uh, members of this administration repeatedly. Uh, he's not going to learn anything else about Don McGahn or this administration that Bob Mueller uh, didn't find in two years of, of wasted time and energy. The only thing he's going to gain, quite frankly, are maybe some political allies at the far left who are conspiracy theorists and think somehow that this was a sham. But in fact, the only sham that existed was the lie that was pushed by the Democrats and so many in the mainstream media on this president and his administration. So I don't think they would find anything different than this entire right, we'll report see, laid we'll out. See we what were completely we get during, transparent, yeah, we'll and we allowed uh, countless hours of testimony, uh, 1.4 million pieces of paper. And so the, the conclusion is no collusion, and Democrats need to get over it, even though they want it to be true. Last topic, Sandra. The there's a deadline today to have the president turn over his tax returns. Is that going to happen? Look, as I understand it, the president's pretty clear. Once he's out of audit, he'll think about doing it, but he is not inclined to do so at this time. He turned over hundreds of pages of a financial disclosure form during the campaign. Everyone knows he's a very successful billionaire. He's had a lot of success in the business world, but people see what he's been able to accomplish, and there is nothing nefarious there at all. This was litigated what in 2016. What sort of fight is this going to set they're up, gonna Hogan? Keep pushing it. I mean, they're going to keep pushing for this, they're not going to stop. Well, they tried that in 2016. It got him nowhere. Listen, Donald Trump was the better candidate. He had the better message. And Lord knows he had a better work ethic than Hillary Clinton. They tried these type of ridiculous tactics in the past to push things like his tax returns. It's already been litigated in the court of public opinion and in the election. The president won it fairly and squarely. He's the president, and no one cares about ridiculous charges about tax returns and all types of other things Democrats are doubling down on today. We've got more stuff when you come back, okay? Hogan Gidley, thank you for your Absolutely. time today. Thanks, Hogan. Thank From you. From the North Lawn.